Although Professor Stephen Hawking died before the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, still, the late physicist left behind a lot of work in this area, and many hours of the new space James Webb Telescope will be used to prove some of his ideas. Hawking worked on one of these ideas right up until the day he died. In this work, he made a case for a theory called the multiverse, which says that a copy of you existed in a different universe. What is this theory, and will the James Webb Space Telescope finally prove Stephen Hawking's theory of the multiverse. Stephen Hawking died in 2018, which was more than three and a half years after the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope. That was because the launch date kept getting pushed back from 2007 to 2011. It also cost $10 billion, which is about 10 times the budget that was set at the start. But after the powerful space telescope is launched and its parts are put in place, it will take several months to calibrate and test it before it can start doing its job. Because of the big, 6.5 meter tall mirror that had to be folded up before launch. The telescope will also be able to look into the atmospheres of planets that are not in our solar system. It can look through huge clouds of dust to see new stars and planet systems being born. JWST will be able to collect and send back light from the very beginning of the universe. It is thought that the universe is about 13.8 billion years old, and JWST will be able to look at light from the first stars and galaxies that formed right after the Big Bang. The James Webb Telescope is an infrared telescope, which means it can see things in space by using infrared radiation. It can look at stars, nebulae, and planets that are too far away or too faint to be seen with visible light, which is what the human eye can see. NASA says that infrared light can also get through things like gas and dust that look clear to the naked eye. This is different from the world-famous Hubble telescope, which can see visible light, ultraviolet radiation, and near-infrared radiation. For the instruments on board to work, they need to be kept at very cold temperatures, minus 370 degrees Fahrenheit or lower. The large sun shield keeps the telescope cool and protects it from the sun's heat. In 2018, an independent review board made a report that said there were 344 single-point failures or steps that had to work for the mission to be successful. But the telescope was put in the nose of an Orion 5 rocket and sent into space safely from the spaceport of the European Space Agency in French Guiana. In December 2021, it went on sale. After the rocket took off, it broke away from it and began to spread out. NASA says, the first deployment happened about 30 minutes after launch, when the solar panels opened up so the telescope could get power from the sun. Because JWST can do so much, there are a lot of astronomers who want to use it. The Space Telescope Science Institute, which is in charge of how Hubble and JWST are used for science, asked astronomers to come up with ideas for how to use James Webb's 6,000 hours of observation time. The lucky ones have now gotten approval for their projects, and we can't wait to learn as much as we can from them. With enough fuel on board, the JWST will be able to work for about 20 years, giving it plenty of time to figure out the deepest secrets of the universe. Now we need to answer a very important question. Will the James Webb Space Telescope finally prove Stephen Hawking's theory that there are many different universes now that the JWST has been safely moved to its spot about 1 million miles from Earth? Hawking's multiverse concept, one of his most interesting ideas, can be tested. The theory is unique because it was the professor's last one to be published. This smart man's last research was sent to be published just 10 days before he died. It was in a paper called Smooth Exit from Eternal Inflation, which he wrote with a physicist from the Catholic University of Leuven in Belgium named Thomas Herta. Hawking came up with a theory about how the universe came to be that could answer some questions, but even though it was his last piece of writing, the paper was a last look at one of his earliest ideas. If the JWST helps prove that there are many universes, the scientists who worked on it could be in line for a Nobel Prize. But since Nobel Prizes can't be given after someone has died, Hawking wouldn't be able to get one. The multiverse theory says that our universe, with its tens of billions of light years, hundreds of billions of galaxies, and almost countless stars, may not be the only one. Instead, there might be a completely different universe far away from ours, and maybe even more than one. This crazy theory says that there might be an infinite number of universes, each with its own set of physical laws, stars, galaxies, and maybe even intelligent civilizations. So, basically, our universe could be just one of a lot of other universes that are much bigger and grander. But it gets, as some people say, creepier, because the multiverse means that there are copies or doppelgangers of everything. If there are an infinite number of universes, 
universes, but a limited number of ways to arrange particles in each universe, then the same patterns are bound to happen again and again, says the logic. That would mean that somewhere very far away, an exact copy of you would be reading this same post. Because there would be an infinite number of universes, there would also be an infinite number of these exact situations happening at the same time. There are a few places in physics and philosophy where the idea of the multiverse comes up, but the inflation theory is the best example of this. Inflation theory talks about something that might have happened when the universe was very young, less than a second old. In that short amount of time, the universe went through a period of rapid expansion that caused it to grow much bigger than it was before. It is thought that the expansion of our universe stopped about 14 billion years ago, but inflation does not end at the same time everywhere. There is a chance that as inflation ends in some areas, it will keep going in others. So, inflation stopped in our universe, but it may still be going on in other, much farther away places. Individual universes can break off from larger universes that are expanding and getting bigger, making an infinite sea of universes that are always getting bigger. In this scenario of eternal inflation, each universe would have its own set of fundamental constants, laws of physics, collection of particles, and arrangement of forces. This could explain why our universe has the things it does, especially things like dark matter and the cosmological constant that are hard to explain with basic physics. Some scientists say that the fact that there is life, especially intelligent life that can make cosmological observations, is the best proof of the multiverse. They look at it this way. Some things about our universe seem unique and important for life to exist, like how long stars live, how much carbon there is, how much light there is for photosynthesis, and how stable complex nuclei are. But if you are given a random universe, none of these things are likely to be true. The multiverse is one way to explain why all of these things are good for our universe since it means that there are other universes. Still, we pay attention to this one because it can support life. Hawking's last paper suggests a way to think about the universe that would make the multiverse finite, countable, and able to be talked about using the tools of science. Hawking helped come up with the eternal inflation theory, which led to the idea of an infinite number of parallel universes. However, in an interview, he said he had never been a fan of the multiverse. He is said to have said, According to the typical theory of eternal inflation, our universe is like an infinite fractal with a mosaic of different pocket universes that are separated by an expanding ocean. The local rules of physics and chemistry can be different from one pocket universe to the next. When all of these universes are put together, they make up a multiverse. But I've never liked the multiple universes. If this theory turned out to be true, it would mean that other universes like ours could have started up at that time, and there could even be gravitational waves from the beginning of time that match how the universe grew. Other scientists, for example, have tried to find more physical proof that the multiverse is real. If a neighboring universe happened to be nearby for a few hours a long time ago, it might have crashed into ours, leaving a clear mark. This mark could be in the form of distortions in the cosmic microwave background, which is the light left over from when the universe was a million times smaller than it is now. So, what are your thoughts about Hawking's theory of multiverse? Will James Webb Telescope finally prove Hawking's to be right or not? Tell us in comments. Thanks for watching.